Hey guys, this is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing um, two magazines that I've collected uh, this past few months. Uh, the March-April edition of Fine Scale Modeler and the Spring edition, which I, pick, I, I picked up here and there. Actually, I picked up at uh, Barnes & Noble. Been meaning to looking at looking at these magazines for a while. I was going to do it on Instagram or or Facebook, but uh, some of the stuff that I've seen here are really great pieces of work that I want to share with you guys. And uh, it's a nice, beautiful day. I decided to use some natural lighting and not um, my indoor lighting, like uh, a lamp. Because if I would have done a lamp, it would look like this. But I said, I said to myself. You know what? The lighting outside is nice. Let me take advantage of it and share it with you guys. So let's begin with uh, March, April edition. Oh, the cover, of course, uh, is showing a um, an Italian battleship. This looks like a one three fiftieth scale version. Could have been by Trumpeter, but I don't know. We'll look at that in a moment. We have the Stug uh, Aust. A Stug 3 ounce G. This is the 116 scale kit that I saw at the show at Mosquito Con that we just recently uh, went through right now. Uh, we have some documentation on some aircraft, on real aircrafts here. Uh, that look at first I thought, wait a minute, it looks like a, an air cobra, but. What brand is that? No, that's a Mustang. That's an updated Mustang there. Uh, I'm trying to see. Uh, F, F Fast 404 and Fast 405. Don't know what that is. Alright, so we have some aircraft here. We have a uh, 132 scale um, Cobra by a company named as Special Hobby. 148 scale aircraft here. Big 21 PF. We have some armor here. T55 Czechoslovakian production by Mini Art. Mini Art is doing does some great model build uh, tank armor. Here's another Stug 3. And they're coming out with the 148 scale Bronco by Mini Art. Ooh, 125th scale uh, Mark V. That's cool. That's the armor part. But that, that pretty much it covers both aircraft, armor, autos, and figures. No ship builds. Weathered, but not too weathered. This is actually a doc documentation on how, how this gentleman weathered a. Uh, what kind of aircraft is this? It should be here. A 148 scale Nakajima Ki 87 Hayate by. Doesn't say the brand. Brand by somewhere around here. A uh, Centauro 135th scale by Trumpeter. Some great weathering there. Detailed it up. It's pretty nice. Right there, it is decals. I'm always impressed on how much what, uh, how much time that they put in when weathering um, the tires. And it's pretty, it's pretty neat to see something like that. But it looks nice. Trumpeters always make great armor. I always did like that. Detailing and finishing a warship. So, this is that Italian ship. Let me see if I could find the brand. Um, okay, I've used the method on scales from 1350th to 172nd. But it doesn't say what brand or type it is. It has to be by Trumpeter because I don't think I've seen any kits from other brands at this scale. And the one thing that 
I'm always a bit nervous about is when you build them. I, I want to build a, um, a World War II ship, but one of the bigger ships, like you know, a cruiser or a battleship, has the wooden decks, and you've got to get that nicely done and prepared pretty well. That's why I'm kind of like more focusing on the possibility of making a, 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 an aircraft carrier in the future. MiG 170 seconds. Now, this is the Fox Bat. I remember this aircraft. Big and beefy. I remember the silhouette of this when I was remembering a playing. Uh, uh, does anybody remember back in the day there was a game called uh, Firefox? It was based off the movie starring Clint Eastwood. And I remember, like, you shooting down MiG fighters in, in the game. That's what I'm most remembering this, this type of aircraft from. But, yeah. So here's the gallery. We have ourselves here a nice little mech tank. Scratch build. Using the turret of a, of a tank. It looks like a Sherman tank turret and then customizing the legs. The legs doesn't look like from anything. Could have been scratch bells of course. We have ourselves a uh, M3 Lee 135th scale by Tukum. Uh, this is a USS Guam 350th scale by oh it's a resin kit by Iron Shipwrights. That's pretty nice. Look at that. A Cobra 172nd scale by Special Hobbies. Nice. And a tractor. Which, of course, I jokingly said the the business of tractors... Uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, model build, biz, the model building of tractors. The sales of these tractors must have gone through the roof because of what's going on right now. So... After Chernobyl, so we have ourselves a some sort of fire truck or utility. Yeah, yeah, it's a fire truck, which of course has been heavily weathered using acrylic paints. I see some uh, Tamiya NATO brown and can't tell what that is. Tam oh, regular brown, so flat brown. And of course, giving it that nice little weathered and pastel look to it. And then we have a TIE Fighter. What brand is this? Is this Tamiya? Oh, it's a Reve oh, classic Ravel's 165 scale. This is an old kit. Very old. And I see he used a lot of Vallejo paint and um, AK and ammo paint jobs there. Give it that nice little weathering look. Um, that streak and that different type of layers of gray. Like I know we've seen that uh, when I was at MosquitoCon there was actually that that set that you can actually buy a set of paint specifically for that for you know painting the Darth Vader uh, tie advance. Of course, if you don't want it weathered, you can do something like this. A very, very sleek uh, automobile. A Lamborghini. I have to admit, the, the, all the cars at the show was amazing. Absolutely beautiful at that show. So seeing some, something like this, you learn to appreciate the, the fine-tuning that, that these builders go through when getting that nice little sheen and shine off uh, an automobile car. I, I can never do something like that. It, I, I was never big into cars to tell you the truth. I learned to appreciate it, yes, but I never got into building cars. I think the only car that I've built was the Bigfoot car, the Bigfoot truck. That was the only thing I built. To me, it's Hellcat. This is kit reviews. And then we have, um, I, this is an ICMB 26K Counter Invader. Oh my god, look at all those guns on that. And then we 
have a, a new new Porsche 935. New new. Okay. And then of course Polar Lights is uh, USS Voyager from Star Trek. This is a 1-1000 scale. Wow, I thought 55 bucks for a 1-1000 scale. 45 parts, but still looks nice. And that pretty much concludes this magazine. Let's look at the next magazine. Alright, now the reason why I like to we're looking at these magazines obviously there's a Gundam on this pic on this and I can't wait until there's a magazine I think maybe I must have missed it somebody told me that in one of the issues of fine scale model there was a Gundam on it so I must have missed that if anybody remembers the issue let me know alright so we have some information here This is a good documentation on how to photograph your models. You know, what will be the right way and the wrong way, depending on the lighting. So we have some galleries here. We have a, a BA-146-200 uh, aircraft by Ravel. So, um, it looks like a Super Sabre, but it could be, no, it's a Sabre. Asagawa's F-83. No, 86. F-86. Okay. Uh, U.S. Navy's OS-2U-3 float plane. Then we have a Trumpeter's 132nd scale um, SU-27. That's a big boy. Big boy. Uh, I think, is that a, oh, it's a Venom. Okay. Followed by a Academy's P40, B20, B17, 172nd scale, and a Messerschmitt. That's nice. And we have a Corsair. Cool. Yeah, I have a couple of Corsairs that I definitely want to start building. Uh, Brian, who's also known as Bro Builder, um, said we should do a um, a build off of some sort using the Corsairs. I have a one thirty I have a one seventy second and one forty eight. He has a one thirty second scale. He goes he doesn't he needs to get those and I said, you know what, it doesn't have to be by scale, It'll just be be by by kit, you know, just build it and enjoy it. There's a lot of wiring there. I don't know if you could see that. Look at all that wiring work. That's a lot of work right there. Some aircraft here and there, okay. Oh wow. The black camouflage of the Ravel 144 scale Chinook. 144 scale, that had to be probably around this big, if I'm not mistaken. It could be smaller. But that's a lot that's a lot of time to do something for this small this scale. The 148 scale P51 by Hasegawa. And this is the title aircraft right here. The uh, is that the the Vermeer Voss, Werner Voss, Rodian. Oh no, that's a, so that's the character, the, the person, um, the Rodin Albatross D3. And then we have an F14. Sorry, FA18 aircraft with the flight deck at one seventy second scale. Uh, 148 scale Prowler by by info. Then we have a. I've always found this weird. This is a weird aircraft, but good detail though. This is a 172nd scale. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, a Fairy Gannet. 132nd scale Hawk 100. No, wait a minute. To build the Royal Australian Air Force Hawk 127 trainer, Andy modified the kinetic 136 scale Hawk 100 with a kinetic and with kinetics photo etch metal. Oh, okay, I got it now. That's a nice shade of 
of Blue on that 148 scale Airfix Supermarine Spitfire PRX, uh, PRXIX in Swedish markings. That's a nice aircraft right there. Rubicon X, some sort of show showing off aircrafts right there. Uh, aircraft figures. Oh, okay, okay. We got some tanks here. Yag Tiger, 132nd scale by Tukum. Uh, PE2, 172nd scale by Air by Airfix, and a, of course, a water a Warhammer, 40k Space Wolf Space Wolf chapter. Space Marines, of course. The Formula One, nice little ship there. And a unusual Hulk figure. Never seen that before. Looks like a Frankie Hulk. Now we have a uh, Stag Hound Mark III by Bronco, 148 scale. Very stout. Very stout. Uh, of course, the Hunt for Red October is. Uh, Typhoon Class 172nd scale by Tump Trumpeter. I have one of this, which I was actually building. Never got around the. F I finished building it, but I was making the little diorama base, and never got a chance to finish it. I'll hopefully get it done by next for next year. So I had to put it put it away. Little figure there. Wing nut, wings 172nd scale Hansa Brandenburg W29. Boats and ships. We have uh, the PBR 31 Mark III, Mark, Mark II, sorry, by Tamiya. A very un the long, um, the Sprunz class destroyer, USS Arthur W. Radford, DD 986. This is by Dragon 17700 scale. There we go, baby flat top right there. Dragon Swan 350 scale. I was seeing this at the show when I was having lunch and I was watching that, like some guy walking around under his arm carrying the mop kit of this. I want to build an air, I, I mean, I am building an aircraft carrier, but I want to build a big one. But I'm trying to justify me building it and putting it someplace because it's it's a long kit. I, I, I already have a spot designated for my massive one five hundred scale Yamato. I now gotta make a spot for that kit as well. So I'll sub build right that's a sub diorama of it launching. A uh, put torpedo boat. Can't get enough of those. One seventy six and scale Ravel. Uh, I like these dry duck dock kits, that's nice. One seven hundred scale diorama of the USS Bouch of Colorado and some other ships as well. Okay, here's some showcase uh, a what kit is this? This is the USS Bristol D D D E three twenty seven at one seventy second scale. That is a huge kit. And look at all the figures. So, 172nd, the figures would probably be around this big. So, we're talking about roughly almost as big as this table. Wow. Military vehicles. You know, wintered version of the Tiger. Ming's 132nd scale Bradley. With some unusual armor configuration that I've never seen. There. And then we have a um, Dragons 172nd scale Churchill AVRE and a Lone Wolf Fasten conversion. That weird thing. And we have a bike. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Willie's Jeep, Willis Jeep, uh, 135th scale by Italian, Italiard, and a French Char B1, 135th scale by Tamiya. Look at that big ass artillery by um, Ming, 132nd scale, um, the French AA, AUF1 self propelled gun, 
and the Challenger 2 1 16 scale. Wow, that's huge. That's a big kit right there. 1 16 scale. T55 tank captured by the Israel during the Six Day War. 136 scale, 135 scale Tokum. To me, it's 148 scale Matilda. Basic color design, not the QD one. KV2 prototype. I just saw Dark Doc's documentary about the KV2, especially during one instance where the uh, where the um, what do you call it? Germans were trying to advance towards Russia, and this one tank just pretty much blocked these guys for God knows how many days. Or and then you know it was a good documentary. All right, we have a is that an Australian armored vehicle? Looks like a, looks like a is an SL. S A S Lab, one thirty fifth scale. We have a lead here. Uh, Jag Panzer, Jag Panther, not Jag Panther, Jag Panther. Here, Nimcon nine. That's the guy was P four one forty eight P forty. 148 scale. Uh, Hawker Hart, 148 scale. All right, where are the Gundams? Hopefully, I can get to the Gundams in time. Uh, Ravel's 172nd scale PT boat, but different type. I've seen that camouflage on, on, on naval ships. Don't think I'll get to see that on Yamato ships, of course. The Sokka PA2 Turtle, 135th scale by Hobby Boss. And of course, there's a Boba Fett figure right there. Is that by Bandai? Yep, that's a Bandai kit. Because that's not that's not a uh, resin kit. Uh, pickup chuck right there. 140, 124 scale, GMC. 1778. Then we have a nice F30, uh, F15E. 132nd scale by Tamiya. A little funny car right there. Paddy Wagon. By Monogram. Russian um, Soviet troop SU 76M 135th scale by Tamiya. The diorama. 136th scale, one, um, Tamiya's BT 42. Oh, yeah, this is actually really nice. I like this one. I mean, I, I like float planes, but I like it when it's on a launcher and on top of a massive turret. And this has to be 172nd scale. Um, I'm trying to find the scale, but I can't. Oh no, this is not 172nd, this is 148. Oh my god, yeah, that's huge. That's actually really nice, I like that. So the aircraft is on top of a base, but it has that blurry vision as it's running, flying very fast. That's really nice. 172nd scale A6A intruder. And it won the gold Fuj uh, a Fujima kit. Nice. Very nice. I like that. And then we have a Spitfire 148 scale by Eduard Eduardo. Eduardo, I think. 2K Prince Charles 130 scale. Minor vans, minor brass. Okay. P38FG by Tamiya, 148 scale. And a, a beautiful painted and decal work on a, this Jaguar race car one, Doug Gold for the racing closest wheel automatic category. Okay. There's another Italian, um, 1350 scale. Italian Navy Cruiser Zara. Uh, this is scratch built. Wow, that's a scratch built kit. Uh, TB DBF Avenger 148 scale by Accurate Miniatures. I've seen that brand. That's a nice one right there. Okay, here we go. Sci-fi in real space. So we have a nice little picture of the 
of the Scout Trooper. This is NPC's one, one, one scale, out of box. That's actually really nice. The diorama is made out of styrofoam with wood, sprinkled sawdust over it, layered a few times. That's really nice. That's really nice. I like that speeder bike. And then we have uh, detailed Bandai's 144 scale, sorry, um, real grade Zaku 2. Kevin added photo etch metal parts, replacing the standard tubing with a paracord, replacing um, and stubbed it with a reflective jewelry for the eye. He painted the gun, me gun and mecha with Vallejo model colors acrylic and Mr. Color lacquers. Nice. And of course, there's the Mobius Battlestar Galactica. Really nice belt break right there. Uh, what is this? NPC's 14225 scale USS Cygnus. Oh, from from the black hole. But wow, in the angle that the this model kit is, it's a bit weird because normally you would see it from the sides, not from the top. But he did put a lot of LED lighting on it. So that really brought out a lot of this kit. Uh, a submarine fish, 1350 scale, that's kind of neat. And then you gotta have an enterprise by polar lights, 1350 scale. This is of course the um, refit version. Modify one of the Thai LNs from the old AMT 151 scale two pack to represent the mining guild variant of the Empire's frontline Star Wars starfighter in the scene in Star Wars Rebels. This variant has two forward solar panel removed to increase pilot's visibility, but it diminishes power coupled with the added drain of life support system. Left the ship drastically underpowered, this as well as changing the ship's center of mass, making it difficult to control and maneuverable in a dogfight. That's a very good uh, description of this. And then we have a nice little Revenge of the Sith um, um, aircraft of the Fine Moles 144. That's right! I forgot that Fine Moles made a version of the Millennium Falcon at 144 scale. And then, of course, we have the we have Bandai's version. But before then, there was Fine Moles. And then we have uh, a... Uh, a land rover, um, a Martian rover. No more Gundam? Oh, come on. I don't mind looking at other stuff, but you know, so long. This is going to be a long video, in which, it, in case it is, of course, the uh, Enterprise NX-1. I've seen that at a uh, recent hobby show. A-wing from Bandai. That's one seventy-second scale. Uh, one twelfth scale Croto by um, Machine Krieger. Course. Some velociraptors there. Creature from the Black Ragoon. Ripley. Nice. I haven't seen this before. Oh, it's a scratch bell from the Expand series. Which, of course, they have not made any model kits yet. And then we have some figure busts here. Then we're going to be breezing through like this. So you guys want to let you know. MS, MMSI 2021. Let me see that aircraft here. Wow, look at that one. This is Orange Hobbies 1700 scale USS America. Scratch built interior for hangars and vehicle decks and lit them up with LED lights. Oh wow, a figure of Lisa Hayes from Macross. In uh, battle, uh, measure oh, a crashed Messerschmitt with a bunch of sheep around it. That's nice, I like that. Some more figure Flash Gordon. Uh, that's kind of cool construction. There's not that much construction vehicle models out there. There should be. Oh, 112 scale uh, stormtrooper. That battle damage, nice. Medusa. Some figures of soldiers. Oh, wow, look at all this. Some of this aircraft. 
scale autos. Nice. Yeah, speaking of which, there's a, there's a, a, a construction vehicle right there. It's a nice bike. I like that one. I'm kind of hungry right now. I'm looking at the this food truck. I need to make some something neat. That's a nice tank. I like that one. 135th scale. Uh, building the ESIC 135th scale M60A1. Yeah, from the Israeli tank. So that's the brand. Did I skip today? No. But okay, so we got another aircraft carrier. But this is actually the Royal Ark aircraft carrier. That's nice. And then we have a, a Typh uh, an X Wing, 172nd scale from Bandai. And then we have a an F4 out of box. Wow, that's nice. Hasagawa, 148 scale. 148 scale Stu, 43. 148 scale stu or STH STU H42 scratch build skirts you put on this all right and oh a cutaway of the space shuttle that's a nice closer right there all right there we go here are my reviews of the fine scale models and great scale model magazine for 2022 I don't think I'm going to do this again, but if I see some magazines that uh, appeal to me or have some great content, I'll definitely pick it up and discuss it on my channel. And uh, I hope you guys are getting by magazines like these because these are very good reading materials. Um, you know, obviously we can't always be online, but something you could see, you can read, and and hopefully inspire you in being a better better model builder. So. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching, and what can I say, but stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.